it's Leah, and welcome to my show. If you want to play the game, there's some things you gotta know. Mistakes are welcome, cause that's how you learn. You gotta try your best when it's your turn. If something gets challenging, try it again. With more practice, you'll get 10 out of 10. Learning from home will be a breeze. Full body listening, please, please, please. Music monsters get ready to roll. You can even bring your very own troll. Are you ready to learn so much? Say it with me now in Miss Leah We Trust. Music with, music with Miss Leah. Music with, music with Miss Leah. Music with, music with Miss Leah. Music with. Music with Miss Leah. 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 <laughs> Washington, Mr. Thomas Jefferson, Mr. Theodore Roosevelt, and Mr. Abraham Lincoln. This is encompasses about 130 years of American history. So today, take a listen, and we have some extra um, things in your Schoology folder, some listening tunes for our American history songs. And some of those you may listen to Ray Charles, his rendition of America is Beautiful, Woody Guthrie's This Land is Your Land, and Johnny Cash's Ragged Old Flag. Enjoy! All right, level three, lesson number six. Today on our agenda, we have our welcome song. We have our solfa echo, our solfa sight sing with the fermata from last week. We have our note name review, our splat note name game. Then we'll zoom with our musician and you'll get your homework. Let's get it started. I'm so excited on top of the mountain. Do, do, do. 
do, re, mi, re, do. Do, so, so. Fa, fa, mi, re, do. Great job, remember, hold me. I'm a fermata, so what do we do if we see a fermata? We hold the note until I direct you otherwise. So here we go, one, two, ready, go. So, me, so, next one, here you go. So, la, so, next one, here you go. So, mi, re, do. Next one, here you go. So, la, so, mi. Great job. Now, my friends, you remember the staff, the music staff. Now, um, music staff has how many lines? Five lines. How many spaces? Four spaces. Now we have the G clef or the treble clef, which we'll be concentrating on a lot next year and this year. You treble makers. Now we have our sayings. Remember them. Here we go. To a beat. You have every good boy does fine. Every good boy deserves but evil gummy bears destroy forest. Escondido gets banana donuts Friday. Every good bird does fly. Elephants go boom down freeway. Eggs go bananas during fiestas. Great job. Remember, keep that one in your head. And a lot of times we're going to use our hand staff. So E, G, B, D, F. Evil gummy bears destroy forest. Remember, it's from the bottom going up. Now, space equals face. So F, A, C, E. Great job. Today we have a game. It's called Splat. It's going to help us. We're going to spell two letter words. Um, let's actually, let's look at the first slide so you guys can take a look. Now you have to figure out what notes these are. So remember our first question, is it on a space or is it on a line? If it's space, it's face. If it's a line it's evil gummy bears destroy forest so if we're looking at our hand staff and we're looking there we notice that the first note is in the second space one two we're going here so spell it out f a so when you look at the first one we know the first note is a so we really don't need to look further because there's only one answer that has a in the beginning which one is that what color Pinkish purple. We're going to call it purple for today. Great job. Looking at our next note, is it on a line or a space? It is on a space. So let's figure out the first one. We see it's on the fourth space all the way up here. So let's spell face. F A C E. Great job. Let's see which one starts with E. The purple. We've been pretty lucky now on the first couple of slides. Let's move forward. Now, the first one, is it on a line or a space? A line, it's on the third line from the bottom. One, two, three. So, evil gummy bears, what letter? B, ooh, but there's three answers that start with B. We're gonna have to look at the second note. Second note is on the first line. The first line, spell it with me, evil. So it's B, E, what color is B, E? The light blue. Fantastic job. Let's take a look. We're going to do two more. Now the next one, is it on a space or a line? On a space, space spells, space spells face. So F, F's our first note. Do we need to look further? Yep, because there's two that start with F. What space is the second note on? The second space. F, a. So F A is what color? Green. Great job. Next slide. Here we go. Space or line. Third space. F A C. Starts with the C. Do we have an answer? It is the purple one. Great job for today. Keep it in your mind. Uh, if you want to play again, come back next week. Leah, we 
We are so happy you were able to make it with us today and be with us today during day 60 something of our quarantine. How are you? <laughs> I'm glad, Miss Rhea. How are you? I'm here doing the same thing. I'm in quarantine. I'm probably bunker day 90. I've been locked in my house since March. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say day 90 in the bunker. Ooh, how are you doing over there? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm doing well. Thankfully, I'm, I'm healthy. Everyone around me is healthy. We're just trying to stay crazy and sane all at the same time, trying to have as much fun at the same time and just trying to figure out how to wake up and go to sleep and enjoy the day as much as we can. Uh, that is awesome. I love to call it controlled chaos. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> well, Mr. Chino, so I think all of my fans and listeners are wondering, what is your superpower during the day? I have two superpowers. Two. During the day, yes. During the day, I work for an insurance company. Oh. And that is my Clark Kent superpower. And then after work, I am a musician. So that is my Superman power. I love your Superman power. It's so cool. It's like you just transform into yes. a musician. Oh, Mr. Gino, that is awesome. I have to ask them, what is your favorite color? Favorite color, I would have to say red. <gasps> I don't know if there's anything giving it away. I'm really glad I wore my red pants today. <laughs> Wow, I bet some listeners definitely can say the same, that they love the color red, too, so that's awesome. Now, do you like to wake up early? Depends on the day. If it's Saturday or Sunday, I love to wake up as early as possible. If it's Monday to Friday, eh. <laughs> that's, where, that's where coffee comes in. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my fourth graders know a song about coffee. Maybe one day they'll sing it for you. Nice. Would love to hear that. <laughs> Wonderful. And now, my question for you is, who is your favorite artist of all time? That is a tough question. I have to think about that long and hard. And the only answer I can come up with is, I don't have one favorite artist. I have too many favorite artists because... My perspective on music is I love all types of different music. So I love all types of different artists. And sometimes it takes listening to other types of music to appreciate your favorite type of music. So in my case, I love to play salsa music. Salsa music is a mixture of classical music, reggae music, hip hop, R&B jazz and latin music so it's basically the the way it sounds salsa it's a mixture of everything the tomatoes the cilantro the onions we've got all that mixed up into into one salsa bowl of music oh that sounds delicious in every way <laughs> <laughs> i'm so excited so now tell me why do you love music i love music because of the way it makes me feel and the impact it has on other people. So quick story, when I was 16, long, 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 long time ago, 16, I went to a beach in the Bronx called Orchard Beach. And on the weekends, they would always have summer parties. And one Sunday, I happened to walk by four gentlemen playing these conga drums. Four gentlemen playing conga drums and singing and playing, and it took four people to get hundreds of people singing, dancing, enjoying themselves. And when I saw the look on people's faces, that told me right there, this is what I have to do. I need to play drums. I want to make, you know, it's such an awesome feeling when you're on stage and even if there's just one person out on the dance floor dancing, that means you've connected with that one person with your music. And it's, it's an unbelievable feeling. I have to agree with you on that same for me to be up there and knowing that you're making a difference. You can't compare to anything else. Wow. Okay. Mr. Chino. So I know you just picked up the conga. I have to ask, is it heavy? 
Yes, it is heavy. That's why I had to pick it up with two hands. Uh, the local gyms in the area are closed, so I'm not. I'm no longer able to pick up these congas one by one. So there are actually two here, and uh, later on I'll uh, I'll play uh, I'll play a couple songs, and you'll see me play with both conga drums. There's one bigger than the other. Oh, I can't wait. That's going to be so wonderful. Okay, Mr. Gino, can you tell me how has music changed your life? Music has changed my life, I would say that it's not something you can explain, it's something you feel, and for me, there are certain songs, certain lyrics, certain moods to a song that connect with certain moods that people have, certain emotions, so if you're feeling sad, you might have a favorite song that it maybe connects with you, or maybe there's a song that it's upbeat, or maybe there's a song that you like to hear when you're working out because it, it pumps you up, gets you running. Maybe you have a favorite song when you just want to sit down and relax, or maybe you just want to hear a certain song that when you're reading a book or sitting outside, or, you know, all of these different emotions, you know, thankfully over these past hundreds of years, People have created songs based on their own experiences. And you get to connect with the people that wrote the songs, the people that wrote the music, the lyrics, the any of the instruments that are in the song. You get, you're literally connecting with those people. So basically what we're doing right now, we're connecting when we're not face-to-face. -face, and that's what you're doing with, with music. And that's what I love so much about music, that I can listen to a song and try to imagine what was that person feeling at that moment when they were writing this or what were they thinking about um, if the lyrics tell you hey I, I lost my dog but then it came back the next day so now I'm happy you know you get to you'll understand that and you'll feel that you get to connect with that person you get to feel happy that the dog came back yes seriously oh Mr. Chino you are just incredible and as a person, but now even, uh, we're so excited to hear you play as a musician. So what did you have for us today? So today I am going to actually sing one song, but I'm going to play three, one, two, three, three different variations. One, two, three, yes, <laughs> three fingers. Yeah, I have to count my fingers. Three fingers. <laughs> I do, too. it's okay. It never goes away. <laughs> So I'm going to sing one song, and then that same song, I'll repeat it three different times with three different rhythms so that everyone can see how the conga drums give a different feel just based on the rhythm itself. So for to understand, just a basic understanding of the congas, the congas, you can think of the congas as the heartbeat of the percussion section of a band. So without that heartbeat, you can't really do anything. So this is one of the, a lot of musicians and fans, even if they don't know how to play it, they just love to pick up a conga and try to play it because it connects with you. It vibrates, as everyone knows, or you should know, your body is made up of water. So every time a drum is struck, the vibrations from the drum actually vibrate and they actually connect with you so you actually will feel it inside and if you can connect like that you're literally heartbeat to heartbeat you're connecting with that drum wow oh my gosh mr gino this is so exciting all right i think we're ready are you ready yeah i'm ready let's try this all right, let's do it. So exciting, my friends. I present to you, Mr. Chino. Woo! Hi, Miss Leah's class. My name is Mr. Chino. Now I'm going to play for you on the congas one song, three different ways. The name of the song is Sealed with a Kiss by Brian Hyland. It's a popular love song back in the 60s. Before I start, just give you a quick explanation of the congas. This is a conga. I've got two congas here. 
can't pick them up. They're heavy. These congas originated in Africa, then moved to Cuba, and now are considered Afro-Cuban drums. So with that being said, I'm gonna sing this song for you, and I'm gonna play it in a style called bolero, like a ballad, very slow. And it goes something like this. a bit and I'm gonna sing the same lyrics in salsa same thing different pattern Second one was salsa. Now I'm going to mix it up and play an R&B funk type of fusion. Same lyrics. Though we gotta say is the best enjoy wow mr chino do you practice a lot because that blew me away it was so amazing yes i actually practice as much as i can whenever i can even with my busy schedule of being clark kent and superman oh my gosh mr chino thank you for coming today and for connecting with us both musically and personally. We cannot thank you enough for coming on the show. Thank you very much, Miss Leah. I, I would love to do this again with a different instrument. I like to play congas, bongos, cowbell, timbales, uh, pots and pans. I mean, anything I can make noise with. Oh my gosh, Mr. Chino, we will have to have you back once you have a moment. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! All right, my friend, but thank you again for coming, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Stay healthy and stay safe. Likewise. All right, have a great day. Bye. You too. Bye. All right, friends, our homework for this week, homework number six. Here we go. Your only homework this week is to create your own theme song. So like in the beginning of my video, I have my own theme song. You create it about yourself and tell somebody why did you write it and what made you write it. Can't wait to see you next week. Bye. Music with Miss Leah. 
Music with Miss